haven't done a video in a while because I haven't had anything to talk about. Not that I had anything to talk about for the last two videos either, but this time I really had nothing to talk about. Oh, in case you're wondering, I woke up at a reasonable hour today, reasonable being noon. I'm doing this video in the daytime. Do you see the light coming through? If you're not proud of me, I'm going to cry. These were going to be ideas for videos, but as it turns out, they're just things that I don't get about life. So I guess that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I can hear people outside. See, this is the downside to doing these videos during the daytime. People. The first thing I don't understand is why guy clothes are so much more comfortable than girl clothes. In case you can't tell, I'm wearing a dude's sweater. Never have I ever seen a man wearing a sweater, but if he did, I assume it would look like this, as I got it in the boys section at H&M, and it has bow pads. So why the hell would I not get it? I have, I feel like, all of a sudden significantly more guy clothes than girl clothes, and it's becoming a problem. But I just don't understand why they're so much more comfortable. You put on a pair of guy pants, and you feel like the world has just turned into a beautiful place of unicorns and ponies, other horse things. And you put on girl pants, and you feel like you're being suffocated. You have a boa constrictor around your pants area. Area where you put your pants. Oh, why I have to scroll past 500 pages of foreign country to get to the United States. I have never met anyone in Tibekistan who's ordering a t-shirt with a picture of, on, of a whale on it that says I will love you forever. So I don't know why U.S. just isn't first, because we're the only assholes that are gonna buy that shit. I wrote down why people with bad breath always have secrets. Brush your teeth or let your life be known to the world. I wrote why sometimes you can't stand up normal, because this is what happened to me earlier. I was over by my fridge, or over in my kitchen, which consists of solely a fridge, and I opened up the little mini freezer, and I fell into the freezer. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but it happened. I was in a freezer for a good five seconds because apparently I can't stand up normal. I wrote down videos about cats, but who am I kidding? I spend my whole life watching videos about cats. If you've never seen a video of a cat, congratulations on your fantastic life. Unfortunately, I'm not part of that group of people. I don't understand why the computer is so addicting. Because it's not fun. Facebook isn't fun. Facebook is like a butt. Facebook is exactly like a nice looking butt. You're, you're walking past someone and you see they have a really nice butt. You're like, wow, that is a nice butt. I wonder how they do that to their butt to make it so good at being a butt. And then you go over and ask them and they all of a sudden pull down their pants and you can see that their butt is all cellulite, they're just wearing Spanx, and it's disgusting. And you're like, oh, why did I ask? Why did I, why was I looking? What did I want from this? And you can't answer, but you can't look away. That's what Facebook is like. I don't get the internet. Oh, I wrote, drunk people going out for food. Even if you just go out and get Taco Bell, why are you doing that? It's three in the morning. You can't even taste anymore. You don't even remember why you're at Taco Bell. You're just there. And it's not like you can even drive to Taco Bell. You have to walk to a Taco Bell. And if you're walking to a Taco Bell, you need to reevaluate your life. The decisions you have made are incorrect. The last thing I understand is why is this sweater so itchy all of a sudden? Anyway, that's about it for now.